Hi guys, I'm back again. Uh, thought I'd do another painting uh, for today. Um, like I said in the last video I done earlier, we're on a, a little bit of a snow day today. It's like a blizzard out there, um, really, really deep. So um, what I'm gonna do uh, tonight is um, I found this really old um, uh, sink uh, plug, you know, one that stops all the, the big bits from going down into the drain. So um, I thought I'd try something with it uh, tonight. So first of all, I'm just going to um, put some white paint on here because I want to cover the paint or cover the canvas really um, with uh, the paint so um, I'm just gonna let all that fall off down that way like that um, give it a good covering only so that when I put um, the paint on top and feed it through the um, the strainer that it'll have something to slide across on so I'm gonna just help it along just a little bit because I want it to come all the way down here like that we just coax it down just a little bit and here we go nearly done right down to the bottom there like that and let's move it around a little bit more cover the sides a little bit brilliant okay so um <clears throat> we're ready to go i'm gonna leave that there like that just wipe my hands off a second <clears throat> so i'm gonna use this smaller little pot here um, oh, I haven't put silicone in, so I'm just going to put two drops of silicone into uh, each of my paints. And I'm going to give that a little stir in in a second. <coughs> there we go. It's really good to put the uh, silicone in. As you all know, it makes really good cells. Um, I think I might spray this little pot. If you remember in the video I did um, earlier, <coughs> I sprayed this uh, silicone spray that's used for cars or um, things like that just to loosen up nuts and bolts I sprayed it into um, one of my plastic cups earlier before I put the paint in and then into the actual paints I've put this uh, silicone oil um, and uh, it's slightly different because it's an oil and earlier it actually was great because it took all the paint out of the cup so there wasn't much um, wastage so I'm gonna start with a bit of white in here then give that a little stir because I've just put the silicone in it and then I'm going to pour a little bit of blue down the side there then I've got this pink here not a colour that I've uh, used before but I had some actually lying around so <clears throat> I thought I'd use that and I've got this really nice lime green colour here as you can see I'm going to pour a bit of that in as well <clears throat> and um, this uh, creamy beige colour here which I actually mixed myself so I don't know what that's gonna come out like and then I've got this uh, darker green here which um, I mixed some white and some blue the rest of the light blue that I had earlier into it so I'm gonna pour a bit more white now into that and I'm gonna put a bit more blue 
a little bit of blue, a bit more green. I don't want to put too much green because sometimes the green takes over. A bit more of that. Some more pink. Brilliant. A little bit more white. And uh, this green colour. So it's pretty full now. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is I am going to place this over the top like this and I am going to, bear with me a sec, I'm going to get a bit of card <clears throat> and I'm also going to place that over the top so that I don't lose a lot of the paint and then I'm going to tip it over and I am going to put it on the edge there like that and I'm going to move the paint hopefully around the canvas like this and we're going to just see what happens it's not moving around very good oh I'm all coming apart here now <clears throat> pressing too hard on the top there so just gonna move that around a little bit more in the white and back up there and around again like this and I think I put a little bit too much white there I'm gonna just let that all fall out hasn't actually come out like I wanted it to really. Um, I'm going to move that out of the way. I think I might just tilt that a little bit that way. I probably use a little bit too much paint there. I'm going to let that drip off the side there like that. I've got some nice cells in there though. So I'm going to let that just drip down the edge there <clears throat> I think the cup was actually too big for the strainer that I used there but I'm gonna salvage this because I'm gonna just tilt that off there get rid of some of that paint there there we go let's put that back on there and I got quite a bit of pink left. Let's just wipe my hands off there. <clears throat> so I'm just going to uh, pour some paint on here like this. And mix it up just a little bit. See what happens. I just had all this excess paint from earlier so <clears throat> I may as well use it up now there we go bit more blue on there brilliant Ooh, I might put a little bit there as well just round the edge I have no idea what this is going to turn out like now as it didn't do what I wanted it to do originally, but never mind. Never works out like you want it to. Let me put a little bit of this green. Do I want some green? Because green makes it go quite muddy. So uh, let me stick a little bit more blue if it comes out. Yeah, it's not coming out very well. Okay, so, oh, I'm getting in a bit of a muddy mess here. I've got paint everywhere. Right, okay. So, <clears throat> I'm going to tilt the paint now. And let's just see what happens. I was making some great colours as it drips actually off the canvas. And I can see lots of <clears throat> bubbles in it. So I'm going to use the torch in a second. And I'm going to 
to let that come right the way down there right down to the bottom it's quite a lot of pink in there I'm going to try and get rid of some of that I'm not sure if you can see because I'm not tilting it up to the camera there so I'm going to put the torch on it and see if <clears throat> anything happens with the cells or anything like that let me have a look okay just gonna torch it a little bit oh that's up a little bit too high get rid of some of these uh, air bubbles here I'm not sure that anything's gonna actually happen to it really put a bit of white on there that may do something it's quite a lot of pink in there which I'm not particularly keen on and I will probably that's a bit high I've just filled this back up with gas and uh, it doesn't play ball the first time I use it. I'm probably going to paint over this one. This is uh, not what I wanted it to turn out like. It's not really that great. <laughs> Can't always uh, turn out great every time you do it. But hey, I actually quite like the colours in it. Looks quite cool, really. The... Uh, the torch isn't doing a great deal but it's bringing out a couple of little cells I think here down here it's not fantastic a few there it's not brilliant I don't think I'm gonna do any more to it really just gonna leave it I think now the colors are not too bad actually it hasn't been a total disaster um, but I may scrape it all off tomorrow and do something different. Um, there we go. That was a bit of a epic fail. But, you know, I've got to try these things. But next time, I think I'll actually use a smaller... Um, <clears throat> a smaller cup. Maybe something like this that will fit over the strainer a bit better. Anyway, I'm not going to bring you down to have a good look at this because uh, it's not one of my best pieces. But I do like the colours. The more I'm looking at it, the more I actually do like it. So it looks quite good, really. Um, so maybe it's not an epic fail, but it's not really what I was uh, looking to achieve. I'll go around the edges there, anything that's kind of left off. It looks pretty covered actually but I'll just check it later <clears throat> and I've got paint absolutely everywhere it's all over my nose all over my face <laughs> so that's not great anyway thanks for watching bye